the panda cow. It's a rare breed of miniature cow. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Laugh it's specially bred story. <laughs> to look like a panda. <laughs> and on New Year's Eve, little Ben came into the world. He and his owners, Pam and Chris Jessen, join us via Skype from their farm in Campion, Colorado. Happy New Year to all of you. And, and the first question we have to ask is, how do you even crossbreed to create a panda cow? Well, good morning and Happy New Year to you guys, too. Good morning. <laughs> I, I'm not the expert on the crossbreeding. There's a gentleman in uh, Washington named Richard Gradwall who spent the last 44 years and worked with eight different miniature cows to crossbreed and create the miniature panda cow. And fortunately, we have a couple miniature panda cows on our farm, and lo and behold, they had a miniature panda calf. I, uh, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but it appears that you have a lap cow on your hands. Is this like a cuddly pet, uh, like a dog or a cat? He wishes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my wife told me that probably the most amazing thing about this whole thing, in spite of the fact that he's rare, is that uh, he's on the couch right now. <laughs> Could you? I mean, do people? Uh, my lap is starting to get very warm. How big imagine. does he get? <laughs> I don't think he's going to be on the couch after this again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. And how big is he going to get? Is he expected to get? Well, miniatures uh, range uh, up to about 44 inches tall um, on their their tail side on their hocks. They are about 44 inches tall, so I'm um, not too big. He can get up to about a thousand pounds, though. So. A pretty good size animal. Yeah, hence the no more couch uh, activity. So is is uh, is the plan to sell him, and is there a big demand for panda cows? Do people keep them as pets? Well, the, the plan is to sell them, and yes, we hope there's a big demand. Um, probably right, not right now, there's not a huge demand for pet cows, but I think it's grown in popularity. Oh, we know that he, he's valued at $30,000, one of 25 in the world. But you also have other exotic animals. Do you have a, a miniature kangaroo? Is that what I read? We do. We have a little uh, Bennett's wallaby out back. Yeah. Okay. Well, Our dog is full grown. It's about the only thing we have that's not miniature. <laughs> well, congratulations on the birth of Ben. Thanks for bringing him into our lives.